Hello everyone and welcome to Photo Finds, I'm your host Gavin Hatch. This week we are going to the Magic Kingdom to take a close up look at Mickey's Boo to You Halloween Parade which is a parade you can only see at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party which is a separate ticketed event. So if you have not seen it before, this is your chance to get a really good up close look at it and if you have seen it and it's one of your favorites just like mine, then you'll enjoy this. So let's start at the very beginning. For those of you that have not been to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party before, it's actually pretty cool. This was only my second year going, and I never really thought or had any interest in going to it before, but it is, it's really fun. So when you go into the park, it, it does look a bit different at night. They have special lighting and a lot of great music. The, all the music in the park changes, and it's all Halloween themed music, and it's great. It's, it's like one big dance party, that's for sure, all throughout the park. Um, they have trick-or-treat areas all throughout as well, so you can get, uh, grab a free bag or you can bring your own, and they give you candy. and there are special shows and then of course the big thing is the parade and they do two parades per night uh, weather permitting and it is just a really nice big parade with a lot of street performers and characters and it's just it's a good time so this is something I really enjoy and I go for and that's why I want to take a look just at that this week the very beginning of the parade starts off with lots of wonderful characters dancing in the streets and of course saying hello to you as they pass along you on the parade route and they all have uh, masquerade masks so they use that uh, while they're dancing and it's just it's really cute. Now this year I did notice obviously recently uh, the costume that Aladdin and Jasmine wear in the parks when they're doing meet and greets and of course anytime they're being seen now in the parks has changed. Uh, so Jasmine has a new costume and this just rolled out I want to say like two weeks ago. It's very recent where she no longer shows her belly. She doesn't wear the traditional outfit that you see her wearing for most of the film, Aladdin. So that iconic costume that she's always worn was changed because I guess some people were complaining that it just shows a little too much skin uh, for a princess and for you know someone that's in a, a family park. So Disney did go ahead and change her costume. It's gotten a lot of negative reviews and uh, feedback but it's, she's still you know Jasmine and she's still beautiful and I did notice that she does uh, make appearance in this parade, and as you can see here, she is wearing the new costume. So in the comments below, if you're watching this on YouTube, let me know what you think about that. Let me know what you think about the, the costume change with Jasmine and Aladdin. And if you want to see more pictures of that, it's on the attractions website. And of course, you can also just find it anywhere on the internet right now of what this new costume looks like. So go ahead and let me know in the comments below what you think about this change. After the cavalcade of characters, you have this gazebo that has Mickey, Minnie, Donald, and Daisy on board. So this this might look familiar to you if you go to the parks a lot and if you love watching the parades. This gazebo has been used for a number of years on multiple parades in the Magic Kingdom Park. It's not only used for Halloween, but it's also used for Christmas and for Easter and even on rainy days. So when they do the rainy day cavalcade, when the regular parade cannot come out, they will put characters on this and it will stroll down the streets with other vehicles from Main Street USA and that way you can get your fix of seeing characters in the streets. So. It is a old piece uh, that has been the Magic Kingdom family for a while, and it's still working and they still use it, so it's, why not? If it works, use it. Now last year was the first year the Winnie the Pooh unit did not make an appearance in the parade and they did not return this year either. So usually after the opening unit with characters, that is when you would see the Winnie the Pooh, uh, Winnie the Pooh float that had a huge tree, the oak tree, and of course all the Winnie the Pooh characters were in the streets including Christopher Robin which was really cute. And that did not make an appearance last year, it did not return for this year's parade either. So do you think they'll ever bring it back? Did, is that something that you wish they would bring back in the comments below? Let us know if you're watching this on YouTube. So after the gazebo, we have Peter Pan. Now this pirate ship is one of my favorite floats. I love it. It has been used in other parades as well. If you remember, they used to do the Pirate and Princess Party, which was very similar to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. It was a separated ticketed event and it focused on the princesses and just pirates. So it was, it was fun from what I heard. I never went to it, but they had a great parade and this float was used in it. Now on the float, you'll see Smee, you'll have Wendy, Peter Pan, of course, and Captain Hook, and two of the Lost Boys. Here's an interesting fact though. In 2013, that was the last year that all the Lost Boys were in this parade and they used to be in the street 
streets, not on the ship. They would dance um, in front of the ship as it made its way down the street. And then in 2014, they did not return. It was just two of the Lost Boys, and they are now tied up with Wendy on the ship. So I kind of miss that. I think that would be really great. You can still see all the Lost Boys daily in the Festival of Fantasy Parade, though. So if you really like those Lost Boys, they're still in the Magic Kingdom Park, but just during the day, not at the Halloween party. Now, once the pirate ship passes you, there are a lot of dancers, well, pirate dancers, and they are carrying mops. That is a first. This is the first year they're doing mops. They usually carry flags, pirate flags, with the skulls and bones on them, but this year they did not have the flags. They replaced them with mops instead, so I guess they're representing pirates, you know, cleaning the deck of the ship. I, I assume. So I don't know why they made that change. I'm not sure why they are using mops instead of the flags. Personally, I think the flags look better, but who knows? There might be some reason they decided to go ahead and change those out. If you think you know why, and if you, if you have speculations, again, if you're watching this on YouTube, comment below. I'd like to see what your thoughts are on this. Following the pirates, we have Captain Jack Sparrow and Captain Barbosa on this beautiful float that is full of treasure and gold. And this float is also from the Pirates and or Princess and Pirates party that they used. So this was also in the Pirate and Princess parade back in the day. And this float also was used for the Share a Dream Come True parade. The parade that debuted, this float was used back in, I want to say it was during the 100 years of magic, Walt's birthday. So that was in 2001. So this float has been used a lot, but it's been repurposed and redone and is still the same infrastructure but of course it looks different on the outside and it's still being used today of course for this parade. After Captain Jack Sparrow we have the unit that almost everyone comes to this parade to see. It is one of the if not the largest unit in the parade and of course we're talking about the Hanna Mansion Gravediggers and Dead Waltzers. I mean this is such good entertainment and I love these guys. They do such a great job every year and I watch them for years on YouTube doing this before I went and saw it in person. It's just even better in person. Uh, the Gravediggers have real shovels and they are able to scrape it on the ground and it makes sparks. How it doesn't ruin the streets, I don't know, but it does. I mean, it's just, it's loud. It's almost a little too scary, but they do a great job and of course they are doing, I mean, they're dancing and it's just, it's it's wonderful. So it's a lot of fun to watch. And then after them, we have a small, just little float that has um, some of the tombstones that you'll see in the queue for the Haunted Mansion attraction. And then after that, we have the Dead Waltzers. This large group is made up of both men and women and they are doing, again, amazing dance techniques in the streets while wearing, I'm sure, very hot uh, costumes and lots of makeup to make them look like ghosts straight out of the attraction. It's it's wonderful. And it is just, it's spooky. And the way they, the, the dance techniques they're using, it's just, it's very, it's, it's perfect. It, it really makes everything come together in this unit. And they're very talented people, that is for sure. And it's just a lot of fun to watch. They have um, spiders and cobwebs in their hair. And it looks like they've just been hanging out in the Haunted Mansion for hundreds of years. That's for sure. You, you want to know the backstory of all these people that you're seeing dancing in front of you. It's just, it's wonderful to watch. Now, before we start talking about the hitchhiking ghost, let's talk about the caretaker and the caretaker's dog. These are iconic characters from the graveyard scene from the attraction, and they used to be in the parade, but starting last year, they no longer made an appearance in the parade, and that is because the dog that actually was in the parade uh, passed away. Her name was Jolene, and she passed away after the 2014 season, so of course she did not make an appearance last year or this year, and they have not gone ahead and replaced and found a new dog to portray that character. So this year, uh, just like last year, they did not make a return, so the caretaker is not in the parade at all. Maybe next year we'll see him return. But after those dead waltzers, we do have the hitchhiking ghosts. This is a really cute float, and I love the costumes, and, and these are not animatronics like in the attraction. These are performers. These are real people, and it just its it looks great. I love the three hitchhiking ghosts, and Patrick, that's one of his favorites, actually. His favorite attraction is the Haunted Mansion, so anything Haunted Mansion he is obsessed with, and this is definitely a float that he enjoys seeing every year. After the Haunted Mansion unit, we have the Old West step onto Main Street. We have a 
huge cast of cowboys and cowgirls dancing in the streets with a lot of high energy. It is a great time with them. They keep it up for the whole 40 minute run that they have to walk down through the through the parade route. It's I'm sitting at the end of the parade and they still have such high amounts of energy and it's just it's great. It's a it's a ton of fun watching them perform. They're clapping and cheering and hollering. It's it's great. And then you have uh, Claire Bell Cowell on her own float and she always has so much energy as well. I love seeing her in the Halloween parade. I love seeing her in the Christmas parade. And after Claire Bell Cowell, we have a cast of characters also uh, jumping out of Frontierland. That is for sure. They have uh, some of the Splash Mountain characters and some of the characters from Country Bear Jamboree. So it's great seeing them. And they have instruments and again, a lot of high energy, a lot of fun. This is a great unit. That is for sure. After them, we have Claire Cluck. She is up here waving at everyone and just, again, a lot of great energy given off. And she's not even in the streets. She's just up here on this parade float. And a character that you don't see a lot in the parks. You don't really get to do meet and greets with her, but she is in the Halloween parade every year. After the Frontier Land unit, we have Wreck-It Ralph himself, and he is being driven by a cast member down the street with, of course, candy. Lots of candy to be had. And brand new for this year, following Wreck-It Ralph, we have the Sugar Rush Girls. These are new girls that have been put after Wreck-It Ralph and right before you see Vanellope. And that's also a change, which I'll talk about in just a second. But these girls are full of energy as well. And they have these, uh, uh, looks like peppermint sticks, and are dancing with those, throwing them up in the air, and just... Again, having lots of fun with guests and very entertaining to watch and a great addition to this unit. And what has changed this year is that we have Vanellope now um, in the parade, but she used to drive her own little car around and now she is actually on the candy unit, the big float that used to be driven by Goofy. And now Goofy has been moved to the front of the parade, if you saw him earlier, and he's no longer wearing a, a costume that's themed uh, to the Goofy Candy Company that this used to be marketed as. It is now Vanellope, and then Goofy's wearing his regular um, casual attire up in the front of the parade. But she is now on this, and she does have some dialogue and is talking as she makes her way through the parade route. So it's it's different. I mean, it makes sense, but it is interesting to see her there instead of Goofy because we're just so used to it. And Goofy also uh, would drive this float uh, in the Christmas parade. They use this for the Christmas parade as well. So again, this float has been reused. It's not just used for this parade as well. The final unit is the villains unit being led by the three laughing hyenas from the Lion King, which are kind of terrifying to see. But after them, we have a small parade float and this float has four performers on board. These four performers are called the dead head band and they are on there pretending to play music. And the music they are playing is called it's good to be bad, which is a very catchy tune, which you will be humming and singing the rest of the night of the party. That is for sure. It's pretty catchy. And after them, we have, of course, the Disney villains making an appearance. The Disney villains definitely have grown over the years in popularity, and there are a lot of them now, so they can't put them all in this parade, but there are a good number of them dancing in the streets, and I love Cruella DeVille. She's my personal favorite Disney villain. Now, on the float, we have the evil queen from Snow White in the back. We have Maleficent on top, and in the very front, we have Jafar. Now, this parade float is great because it has been reused and not changed a lot. It has actually been used since 2001 uh, with the Share a Dream Come True Parade, and I saw that when I was 11 years old back in 2001. If you're watching, I might I might have just made you feel really old. I'm sorry, but this used to have a snow globe on board, and that snow globe was removed. And inside the snow globe, you had the evil queen, and she would transition to the old lady, uh, and just like in the movie Snow White. So it was kind of scary to see that happen, but it was really, really well done. And they removed those snow globes years ago, and now that's just it looks like this. It's been repurposed. Ursula used to be on it as well. Ursula has been removed. She was in the back, but they took that off. So it's it's good to still see this being used, and it is the finale float in the parade. And that, my friends, is Mickey's Boo to You Halloween Parade only in the Magic Kingdom Park at Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party. If you have not been before, you need to go and see this parade because it is some great entertainment. That is for sure A+. plus. So that will conclude this week's photo finds. I hope all of you have a great week. Make sure you get out, you have fun, and you enjoy those parks. We've been dying <laughs> to have you. <laughs> Hurry back.